we've got some surveying to do over at Pulse D, but uh, there's quite a few cobwebs gathered in the interim, and I think that's got rid of most of them. explanation in a moment Hugh but first I hope you can appreciate the view behind me here it's got to be one of the best in South Wales we're looking down on Abergavenny from here what used to be the village of Pulte cavers and mining uh, experts and industrial archaeologists are going to be spending the weekend trying to get through this tunnel again the project leader is Clive Gardner Clive uh, 40 years you've been planning this what are you expecting to find then? Well, originally it was to see if the bats had been using this as a roost, so we'll be taking sampling equipment in to the biological system. Um, however, it's a limestone roadway, so what we're really wondering about is if the tramway and maybe the some trams, perhaps also the implements, the tools that the miners use, that can show us how they can work. We've been hearing about the sort of obstacles you might come across, the water, roof walls and so on, and what do you expect to find? Well, we're tackling this tunnel from a depression in the field beyond uh, the mouth you can see here because we know this mouth has collapsed. Ten years ago I went in here past two collapses, or the second collapse, and that was the furthest limit. We're going to excavate a hole in the field and hopefully bypass these collapses and explore the tunnel as far as we can get. It's all pretty dangerous. Well, this is indeed why we've put uh, mining experts together with cave explorers because um, we've got an HSC safety policy which everybody will have to read and abide by and there's certain protective clothing and equipment we have to use. We're using breathing apparatus, we're taking the methylometer and oxygen level detector which will tell us what the atmosphere is like inside the mine. 14 years in the planning has been I think a bit nail-biting. I mean, I've got all these people organised, a lot of heavy equipment, and uh, a few one or two pit props to support it. I mean, we want to go as far as we can to Blind Avon, and, uh, well, I can only tell you on Monday when we'll be successful or not. Well, the best of that, we'll be filming here over the weekend to find out just what are the, the secrets of the Fort Lee Tunnel. Join us on Monday to find out what they are. Back to you. There's 2.2 uh, metres to this side of the hole. Yes. And it's 4.4 altogether to where my station was. Yep. Two one eight. Thank <laughs> you. 
got two separate, you got yeah. two lines running up that way. They're not running straight, it's going at an angle. You see the difference in ground? Yeah. It looks, it as, looks as if it's more this way, doesn't yeah. it? It looks as if it's yeah. the original ground for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. that way, if anything. Yeah. Before you go any deeper, <laughs> Steve, take uh, <laughs> another, see if we can get a piece out of that corner there, would you? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Is that, the, is that just point, the yeah. um, bog effect, <laughs> the water selecting? Yeah, but you've got two separate brown, brown materials. Yeah. There's right. black that side. Yeah. Original this side, but it's running at an angle. It's, it's oh, possibly right. been That's done by the, cut and cover, so it's going to be underneath where the, the black is. Think, yes. oh, this Have some willing hands and you have to go on this timber back down the way.
water, we're going to try and pump it now because we think there's only a short yeah. section here coming out. Once he gets the crown, All right. 70 feet down to Blind Avenue, so he shouldn't be full all the way. Gonna take a bit longer yeah, with a shovel and a wheelbarrow. Yep, to allow it to drain outwards from the. Uh, yep. Can you bring a Land Rover and compressor into the field? Yeah. Yeah. We get the uh, we get the pump rigged up see if we can. Yeah. Boy the. Yeah. Yep. Just drive over. The uh, roof looks a little low. Oh no. Caving's one thing. A few bits of uh, block. What, what do I recommend there is you use a tall caver in there first to hit the roof. <laughs> no, oh, Andy. Oh, it's so pleasing, Russell. This is. Oh, yeah. Isn't that down? That's down. Uh, yeah. Well, he's long enough. No, that's not 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 how far did you slide going to water? Uh, five yards, I think. Oh, yeah. Hi! Hi! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good long echo, that. There's a lot of dirt here, you have to crawl over to get in. Well, probably not a game band by the day. Sort of, this bit is going to need a larger bag of the for the discharge. Where's the compressor? How are you feeling about the pumps? Do you want to try the bigger pump as well? Well, if, if, we, had, if we can't, if we can't have rings, yeah. we'd have oh, we'd nice double pumps. Showing our dig site in the centre of the picture. Down, you've got this large quarry, which has got a balance shaft in the top left hand corner which used to be used to draw up the buckets using water. Let me just see if I can over there. Let me see if I can drop it. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah. Just as safety trainers, John. Huh? Just as safety trainers. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll <laughs> tell you in a minute. Yeah. That's my waterproof one. Put the sheet on the inside. Yeah, we're going to have to, aren't we? Yeah. We get another lift of timbers on, so we've got something to drop the sheet. And down just drop it down. Drop it down. <laughs> Oh yeah, you think you just move your head over? Oh yeah, do you think you just move your head over? Oh, you think that's... Oh, that's probably it, right? Yeah, you actually just knock it over. It's fell, so do you want to put a bit of timber in there? Yeah, well, yeah. We haven't got any tin, have we? No, it's not to get some. Right. 
Unless you just drop it, you drop it off the rocks in there. Yeah. And the thing is, there's a big pile of fairly coarse rocks there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, man. If you just drop a big pile of rocks from here, because it's only a few inches down to the bottom line. Yeah. Just to stop the fine spilling. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Look up a right. second five. Cheers. Okay. Go on. Don't like a jack in the box. Come on, get on with it. Bloody pub's open. Right. Makes them look. Sorry, I'll just wait for him to give you the old bit. Yeah, I'll just get this out to sort it out. Is that the custom? Yeah. I guess. You got the instrument with you? No. I hope so, because it's not on Sorry? the end of the rope. <laughs> Are we going to take samples and then pass them back up? Yeah. Just before you do that, when you lift that's that, right. you're going to swing to one end and rip the plastic bag. Yeah. Do you want the big bottle down? It's, it's, all it says there is a sort of quite, um, yeah. you know, a bit of an, an attempt to... Pretending, I, I, I to protect it. There's no way else I want it to go in the water anyway, you know. So Splash proof. Yeah. Invalidated. That's it. That's it. Fill it in. Fill it in. We'll start getting noisy in a minute. All right, Clive. Clive, come away from the bottom there. Go on. Oh, go on. No, oh, go these, down there. this is the way to do it. Right. Right. Has it gone solid, John? Well, these sheets are blowing. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll lure it to John and then he'll lure it to you. Don't forget to stand on his head. Okay. Well, John's head. Yeah. You can stand on, okay? <laughs> For that piece. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. Okay with the camera? I was thinking maybe better you pass John and I'll pass it to John. Alright. Well. <laughs> 
You need both legs the same size as the strut to go any further. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is excellent what you're doing. Good. A bit more or not? Uh, and the wall, yeah, a bit more. The last child have been born in the room. Yeah. 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 I think it would be more of an interest to Clive to see what happened, what it looked like from above, rather than for the video. Yeah. The end of the day, he's done as a backup camera. Yeah. Right. Is that what it is? That's the gas monitor gone off, is it? Yeah. Hello, lamp here. Okay. Watch out, Tom. Right. Come on then, John. What level does that go off at then? It depends what it's gone off on. Right. I'll tell you once it comes up. Uh, Come on, Jerry, all the way up. Right. Step out. <laughs> Who's holding the lamp? Uh, the rope. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That was mm -hmm. I was relying on that. <laughs> you all right, John? Yeah, no problem. Is it alarming for them? I don't know yet. Yeah. Tell me when it comes up. Sorry for the gassing. Nice clean looking water. Okay. Okay. Come on, Clive. 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 Okay, any more gear? No, I'll step out. You were clean. A bit. What's it like, Clay? It's alright, John. No oxygen. What's it like? It's alright, it's lower than you anyway. No, don't worry. Oh, that's good to hear. It's all bad. It looked uh, alright. Yeah, I was sure it was works. there. You didn't spit. I, That'd be just the breathing, of course. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like you to, know, you know, three or four people chatting away there for a quarter of an hour. Yeah, 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 a couple of shots I was right. thinking of. <laughs> it would be nice. No right. oxygen. Be a shock. I think it's inside yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Go down to 18. 18. You might have breathed on it. Mm -hmm. And you're also turning, you're also stirring up the crap. Yeah, we had one. Two that, that's not yeah. Was that methane or was that oxygen? Yeah. Oxygen, oxygen deficiency. And low in the sense of uh, still breathable, but uh, get yeah. out. Yeah. Breathable, but it's been, it's been below the permissible low. working limit. Right, OK. That's 19%. And yeah. we started off with it quite good. Uh, the three of us down there, weren't there? Yeah. I've got a shot of that on it.